This fire engine graveyard is located in Cheshire, England. It has been abandoned for a long time now. Over a period of time, people have broken into the house, stolen items out of the house and the shed, and caused havoc for the neighbors. I did get caught, and the police came. What happens next? Yes guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Urbex in Yorkshire. So, we've come to Cheshire today. And we have come to a um, derelict site which has got uh, multiple abandoned vehicles and disused vehicles in it, as you can see. Uh, there's also some old fire engines and stuff in here as well uh, abandoned diggers abandoned cars now I think there's only one way in and out of this place guys which is over the fence um, at the main gate so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go uh, attempt to get over it and then I'll come back to you uh, when we are on the inside Yes guys, so I'm just walking down the, um, the side bit and apparently there's a way in down here. Now if you look up there, I don't know if you can see it, I think you can just see it there. There's, there's actually a drone, it's a bit cloudy so visuals aren't right good, uh, but there's actually a drone up in the sky watching me and I've no idea. Um, whose it is so I don't know if it's a spy drone or I don't know if it's another uh, possible explorer uh, but as you can see you know there's old machinery there's um, there's all kinds of old stuff it's just like a big massive scrapyard now the only reason I've come in this way and I haven't sneaked into the other side is because the people don't actually live here anymore according to the locals a couple who we were talking to earlier have actually moved into a care home but look at look at all this guys Look at these old tractors. And one of the locals said that they'd actually attempted to to ask the previous occupants who have now gone into the care home to buy some of their um, parts, you know, uh, from the, the old bulldozers and tractors and stuff because you can't buy them anymore. But um, they just kept, you know, they just kept saying no. But this is obviously a new channel. Uh, there's not a lot of people who's probably uh, watched my stuff. So I will say, we never break into anywhere. We, uh, we don't damage anywhere we don't steal anything and we always leave uh, a place as we find it uh, so worst case scenario if the police do come out or if there's any security or anything like that it's basically civil trespass but look at, I mean like I said I've come in this way because uh, the previous occupants are no longer here but look at this uh, Old Corsa 55 reg. Oh, there's chains and hooks and all kinds of stuff on the floor. Uh, the house, you can't get in the house anymore. It's all boarded up. That drone is definitely watching me, but. And what I'm thinking right is. I'm thinking, is it somebody 
who lives local. Is it um, is it a local resident? Is it a spy drone? Yeah, let's go. Let's go around the other side. Let's go back over here. Try and get out. The actual garage. I think we have a place where the fire engine is. Now, this place is widely known as a fire engine graveyard. So, um, I think I'm just going to stick to that name. I think I'm just going to use the same name, basically. But, I don't believe drones watching me. But this place is, um, it's fenced up, it's gated. Um, and then, like I said, I found one of the easiest ways in. You wouldn't believe. trucks there. Ah, oh, the drone's gone now. It's typical, isn't it, when I'm out on my first proper explore by myself, I end up getting drones watching me. Wow. Some of the stuff around here, guys, it's absolutely nuts. Right, I'm going to um, pick this back up and I'm going to try and get in the main barn. So, we've um, managed to find a way in. This is absolutely bonkers, there is so much stuff here. It is unreal. There's old um, clamps and drills and firefighter, um, fire hoses engines all kinds of stuff guys look at this it's hgvs absolutely mental what i'm gonna do is be facing my way actually i'm gonna see if this door's open now it's locked I'm going to attempt to get to the other side now. Yeah, look at this, guys. Old um, lawnmowers. Welding helmets. Corby's bags. Bags and ropes. Old trailers. I'm not even joking, you have so much stuff here. Old metros. Rover metros. Some explore with the air. We've got a uh, T Rex Urbex, we've got Sazzy. I wonder if it's a Sazzy who I know. It's all BMW look. mess. Wow. It's absolutely bonkers. Just, I'm going to put my name on here.
it's filthy now. So yeah, quite a few people have been here over years. But, I mean, literally, literally, all, all this stuff just gets left to rot. Do you know what I mean? guys old school it's an old Sierra with no steering wheel now like I said guys I mean we can't stress enough um, if you do um, come and do anything like this, exploring and stuff like that, please leave things as you find them because if you don't, it, it kind of ruins it for the rest of us but look at this, we've got one, two, three, four, five old school fire engines we've got a jet power wash this is crazy Oh, cats. Wow, look at these are absolutely amazing. Just left here to rot. That's where, that's where they used to put the pipes up water. Absolutely bonkers. This is amazing mess. This is my first proper, uh, proper explore by myself. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, we need to try and find a way to get in here. So I'm just gonna have to put you guys down a minute. There you go. Just put you down on the tripod and then we'll climb in. There we go, we climbed in. I mean look at look at this, look at the condition at seat. It looks new. Bonkers. I think the windows need a wash, mate. Yeah, look, you got you got your beacon, your flashing light switches, your sirens. This is a proper, proper old school um, fire engine mess. And can you see that one through a window there, look, Blackpool Airport. Let's go check this one out, so we need to get this. Stuck to climb up there because there's no steps or rope. So let's just put this back on the ground and then we'll jump back out. Wow, look at that. 
absolutely crazy. I'll bring it back to you guys, I'm just going to take some pictures. Right guys, so that's the, uh, that's the look around the barn. Like I said, there's about five fire engines in total. Uh, we've had a good look inside, we've had a good look over there. Um, took quite a few pictures. Got all pick up. Wow, look at this. It's still got the um, user manual in it. Bon bonkers. Yeah, I'd love to have known who's, who's that drone was. But, um, let's have a look down here. Some more of them um, bulldozer things over there as well, look. industrial chainsaw wow needs a new chain what's over this fence another garage I'm going to try and go in so I'm going to walk back out of where I came from guys and then I'll pick it back up right just going to show you in here briefly before I leave so this is one of old portal cabins Loads of books and stuff just been laying about. Cost a fortune, I bet some of them. Oh, I nearly fell over. Guys, the police are here. The police have turned up. See that? It's a police car, like a rural police van. Yeah, it's like a put this police car, a rural police car, and a trolley van. There they are. Are you? Why? Yourself here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just filming you just to let you know. That's fine, I'm filming you to let you know as well. Thanks for letting me know. Obviously, we've got issues with people coming down on the property and things like Sorry, that. Sorry, I'll just step back because yeah, no then the camera can focus. Um, coming down on the property, breaking in and things like that. All Which right. Going missing. Okay. Um, I'm going to take your details. That's all right. Uh. Being you on land. You've got no reason to be here. Do you have reason to, sp to suspect that I'm committing a criminal offence? Yeah, so this property is being targeted right. severely by people being on the land, coming down here, uh, encroaching on the various parts of it. Right. Um, you're here on said land. Well, it's there's, there's no nobody actually lives here, do they? Regardless, someone still owns it. You've got no permission to, to be on their property. Take it. Well, I didn't. I didn't know someone still owned it. 
right, okay, well, yeah. you do now. I know trespassing is a civil matter anyway. Civil, so. but burglary, attempted burglary, that kind of stuff isn't. Oh, well, if, if okay. you're trying, if you, <laughs> you're going to try and use burglary on me, are you? So, what's your details? I'm not going to give you one. Any ID on you at all? I don't need to show you. Right, what are you doing on? Because yeah. I, I ain't committed a criminal offence. No, but it's a suspicion of criminal right. offence, isn't it? Well, I can I can alleviate your suspicion. Uh, so what I do is I go around exploring abandoned yeah. uh, buildings, places, stuff like that. Right. So I have a YouTube channel if that helps. Okay, yeah, so what's I, the name of the YouTube? I'm channel? I'm, I'm not here for anything. It's Urbex in Yorkshire. Urbex. Urbex. How do you spell that? Um, a, uh, sorry, U R B E X I N G. I N G. Yeah. So it's Urbexing. Uh, Urbex. Oh, sorry, Urbex. That's the one, yeah. yeah. Urbex in Yorkshire. Uh, so obviously, I'm I'm not committing an offence. I will leave if you ask me to leave. I will get on to that in a second. Um, would you be willing to show me the YouTube channel that you've got? Uh, it's not actually set up. Right. It's not actually set up. Believe it or not, this is my first proper Urbex on, like, out on my own. Okay. Uh, but yeah, feel free to check my other YouTube channel out, mate. I've got 22,500 subscribers. What's the other one? Well, like you can see it, it's on my, it's on my jumper. Or oh, it's in Yorkshire. I am, yeah. Okay, is that on YouTube as well? That is, yeah. You'll see all kinds of things on there. Um, there's actually a couple of um, urbex and stuff I've done on there as well. I did a, an I did an, a Coventry Speedway a couple of weeks ago, that's on there. Coventry Speedway? Coventry Speedway, yeah. You know the old... Where they go around track back in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's abandoned, shut down, derelict. I, I went down there a couple of weeks ago. That's on my main page. On the other thing. Yeah. Nature. Obviously, I mean, I'm not going to deliberately um, try and evade you or anything like that. Um, as you can see, my name is on my jumper, so there's no point trying to hide that. Um, but yeah, literally, mate, I'm not not doing no wrong. I've just come for a quick um, urbex. That's it. Obviously, if you ask me to leave, I'll leave. It's not a problem. Which, oh, there it is. Uh, can you identify yourself, love? Can you identify yourself? Hey. Can you identify yourself? Uh, no, I'm asking. Um, the, I'm asking the questions. Can you identify yourself as per your policy? Three one 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 five. Right. Are you are you recording me as well? Yeah. Okay. Right. What station you both based at, please? Chester. Chester. Three double zero two eight. Yeah. Both both based at Chester. Right. Got the channel. Thank you for that. No, it's um, fine. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not trying to be awkward. Yeah, yeah. The questions I'm asking, uh, obviously, I'm entitled to ask. You have to give me a response. We understand how these things go. You want it for your views and clicks. I'm happy to stay within the law. Yeah. You're well, I mean, I'm staying. Oh, no, no. Yeah, you're I'm staying within the law. Yeah. Um, I'm happy that what you provide me now. <coughs> I don't believe you're here to burgle the place. So I will be asking you to leave in a second. Yeah, of course, sir. Anything to of course, no problem. Make you aware in the future is. This isn't abandoned, isn't derelict. This does belong to somebody. Right. It is considered trespass, and there is a lot of issues with burglary and things going on. No, I understand, because quite a few people have been here. Exactly, it's, and I think it's all over TikTok and, yeah, if you, I mean, and whatever else. I mean, if you, look on, if you look on YouTube, you'll find it on there anyway. There's, there's names of YouTubers like um, scribbled into dirt on yeah, car windows and stuff. Yeah. So, just as a heads up for the future, if you are down here again, then you might have the same process going through you have been told that it is no it's still, fine it's not property that's okay. fine um i won't be i mean obviously i've done me i've actually finished my video now Please. um i you was on this way for us i think we're coming out this way as well. i was on my way back out so i mean i've got i've got no reason to come back again do you know what i mean brilliant are these your colleagues down here uh, i think one of them is sorry can you get out this way i don't know i was hoping that you could tell me because you came from this way no no i can I've just been in there. Right. I, you see, if you go in, obviously you're not going to, but there's five really old no, I've seen them before. fire I've engines. Been but, but I actually came in, what I did was well, I walked down the side path and through the open and fence. Did you come through this bit here? Uh, I mean, should we walk back out that way? If that's the way you've come in, that'd be the easiest way. Oh, you can get out this way? Yeah. Oh, can you? Right, that's fine. Oh, has he got a key? I have no idea. I'm sure he just said I can open the gate. You should be um, 
you, sh you should be happy anyway because this is literally the most civil, politest conversation I've ever had with police in my life. Yeah. Well, like so, I say, yes, I'll treat you how you treat me. Yeah. If you're here and you answer my questions and uh, to verify either who you are yeah. what you're doing here, then I'm happy for you to go on your way. I mean, like I said, I, I mean, I do do other stuff. I do go filming multiple places, you know, not just abandoned places, so... It takes um, all sorts, and if that's your hobby that you choose to do, mate, I mean, well, it's not what I'd pass me time, but, you know, it's your choice. Well, it pays very well anyway, let's just sure say that. Is that a cord or a key? Cord? Mm. Cord? No. What, you, can, what what's yeah, your call number, what's your calling number, please? Rural crime team, what's your caller number? 23258. 23258, and then we've got 5120. Thank you very much. Mm. If, I'd, if I'd have known, Where you could are have... your colleagues? Eh? Where are your colleagues? Where are the others, man? No, There's... no, I'm on my own. Where are the others? There's other people have been seen going in there. No idea, love. I'm by myself. So from Yorkshire, have you? Yeah. Oh. I, I go all over the United Kingdom, mate. Right, okay. I make a lot of money from what I do, so. Oh, Obviously, you guys, you guys are entitled to film. I'm, obviously, I'm filming for my safety as well, yeah, yeah, evidential yeah. purposes. Uh, but I'm not going to lie to you. If I knew you could have opened that gate, I'd have just rang you first. So you could have come and let me in, couldn't you? Why would you let you in? What are you taking a picture of me for? Are you videoing me? Yeah, yeah, I'm videoing you. Yeah, yeah, who are entitled you? to, as you are, as I am. Here, don't start with me. I've just asked him a question I'm not civilly. Starting. I'm just quietly. explaining. We're friends here, aren't we? Yeah, I've just said what you're taking a this picture of me for. So free to, you're free I'm entitled to ask that question. I'm not being leary or anything until yeah, he just jumped in. Good man. So, who are you? <laughs> what do you mean, good man? Good man. Why don't you get back in your car and do it? I'm one? a local and we've had a You've just been trespassing on here. Listen, look at that. yeah, and it's a civil matter. So, what are you going to do it's about it? It's a civil matter. Yes, it is. Not necessarily. Listen, up. You're letting your colleagues down now, so you get back in your car and go away. Unless you leave the area. No, I won't leave the area. Have I committed a crime? Well, possibly. Possibly. I don't know what you've been doing in there, do I? Perfect well, cover, isn't it? You could be a burglar. A burglar? I don't know. A burglar in a YouTube hoodie? I don't know. With no mask on or Perfect anything? Perfect cover, isn't it? Perfect cover? What an idiot. You've been doing job too long, you. You're too suspicious. Asked him a perfectly reasonable question. There well, no need for you to jump in like that. Right, so we've got Kilo Mike 69, Oscar Kilo Juliet. Oh, look at all these as well. Are these all come to film me? Are these filming me as well? See so a 66FFS. We've got um, Echo Alpha 72, Foxtrot Victor Juliet. We've got real, real crime scene. Real, real crime scene. We've got Echo Zero. Uh, Echo Oscar 20 Hotel Tango Yankee. Wow. You see, I would actually be reasonable with the other two uh, police constables, as obviously everyone's seen. Um, along comes that muppet and starts having a crack at me. Uh, you've got members of public taking pictures of me, which is fine. If you want privacy in a public place, you have to create it. I aren't wearing a mask for the simple fact that I don't want to uh, look any more suspicious than what I already do. Uh, but we'll get all them on camera as well because they've been taking pictures of me. Hey? Why? Because yeah. I can. Have you got a problem with that? The only problem I've got is you've just seen that somebody's elderly and right, her friends have you got a problem might with feel that? a little bit intimidated being right. videoed. Well, that's not my problem. I aren't committing okay. a crime. No, but I can film in public. Right. You've got an attitude problem, you. You've got an, you and your colleague. You've got an attitude problem. Okay. Yes, you have. Okay. So I suggest you go on a say. customer relations course. Oh, thanks. Yes. Thanks for your help and thanks for your guidance. You're more than welcome, darling. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Right. I'm just here to help people in, a, in any way I can. Okay. I had a pleasant conversation with your colleagues, and then you two numpties come along and just ruin it, don't you? Okay. Eh? So get back in your little car. Drive off, go on. Bye bye. Bye bye, pleasure to meet you two. Right, you two. And remember, if you see somebody filming in public, don't have a go at them, okay? Because we can film anything we like.
Anyway, listen, um, I appreciate you being so civil and obviously calm with me and stuff, and you've accepted my explanation. Uh, obviously, I mean, I got a bit shirty because there were no need for your colleagues to act like that, you know what I mean? So, it was your but, opinion, but, but I appreciate your comments. No, that's fine, but you right. two have been all right. Good man. All right, thanks a lot for your time. No worries. Oh, God. <laughs> Cheshire Police, eh? The Cheshire Police just as bad. What do you think, guys? Uh, <laughs> do you know what? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not... So that kind of turned into a bit of an audit at the end, even though I didn't want it to. Um, obviously, I mean, all being nice and all being civil, and I explained to um, the police, and, and they accepted my explanation, and everything were fine, but we're going to go. And then the other two uh, started getting a bit lippy and leery. Uh, so it kind of turned into an audit at the same time. Uh, so I'm not too sure uh, what to do with this video. Oh, two seconds, mate. I'll have a chat with you. What a muppet. Right, I'm going to turn my camera off, guys, and have a, have a word with these two. I will blow the registration out. Uh, I'll have a chat with these two. I'll pick it back up. Yes, guys, so that were a bit of a mad one. Uh, I'm actually finished now. Uh, the people who I were talking to in the red car uh, were actually, uh, I'd spoke to them before going in. They're the people I were talking about. And he actually said to me, he deliberately waited for me to see if, to see if I got arrested uh, because they were going to go down to the police station and vouch for me, bless him. Uh, so massive, massive respect to you um, if you do watch this video. Obviously, um, I did my best to compose myself and stuff like that. Uh, you'll see in video, guys. Uh, obviously, the other the other two constables, uh, they had a right attitude problem, do you know what I mean? So, kind of... Um, I had to educate them and get them told. But yeah, what a crazy one. So the police part, uh, the police interaction is actually going to be going on both channels. Um, it's going to be going on Urbex in Yorkshire and Audit in Yorkshire. Um, and then the Urbex itself will be going on Ur Urbex in Yorkshire. Uh, so yeah, hopefully uh, you guys who are watching on AY uh, will get yourself over to UR. Um, uh, UY, sorry, UY uh, So yeah, uh, you guys who watch the Police Interaction Audit in Yorkshire Please get yourself over to Urbex in Yorkshire and leave us a sub um, Bit of an eventful one for a first proper uh, first proper explore out on my own But yeah, it was, you know, apart from the Police Interaction Which I ideally didn't want, do you know what I mean? But it just happened, it was a really good explore So thank you everybody for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.